Welcome back. Well, we are doing something different today. Uh, today, we have a box that came from Lisa from Desert Dragon Works, and she has assured me there are some giveaways in here. So I thought we'd take a look at them together, especially since it's Christmas week, and I thought it might be fun if we just opened Christmas presents together. So we'll be right back. about a quick word from our Portuguese friends before we get started because I'm hoping to make this a short video it's Christmas week I know you all have things to do and I appreciate the time you're giving me but I don't want to take too much advantage all right English as she is spoke which was written by a couple of Portuguese gentlemen in 1855 spoke no English and were telling their fellow countrymen how to survive in the English-speaking world. Now, we have a list here of, uh, this is animals, and it's called Quadrupeds Beasts. Now, most of the list is fairly ordinary, but bear with me. They, they couldn't help but give us a little zinger in here. All right, lamb, ass, shy ass, ass cold. They like asses. Weasel, ram, Aries. Hind, ox, he goat, you, mare, stag, camel. They apparently expected to find camels in America. Cat, horse, she goat, kid. Roebuck which apparently they also thought they would find in America. Dog, bitch, hog, dragon. All right, that was the one I was waiting for because you must know when these fellows thought of the English speaking world, they were definitely thinking we were taking a trip to Hogwarts. We've got another one here. Fishes and shellfishes. Bleak, shad, anchovy, eel, whale, whale's not a fish, barbell, sea fish, which I suppose goes without saying, pike, swordfish, calamari, conger, dolphin, dorado, crawfish, a sort of fish, which again goes without saying, gudgeon, herring, one of my favorites, hedgehog, Hedgehog, oyster, lamprey, large lobster, as opposed to a small lobster, snail, wolf. Yes, wolves and hedgehogs are apparently fish and shellfish. Our dear friends just never fail to disappoint, do they? All right, let's take a look at Lisa there's some notes here about what is in the box and let's take a look at this 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 is a handmade bird toy for Jocelyn's birds now for those of you who don't know she has two little Conyers they are Charlie and Pumpkin and one of them we think it's Charlie one of them has learned to swear and she has a macaw named Hager. So my sense is the macaw is going to be the one who's going to take a special interest in this because Conyers are little teeny tiny birds and this is going to be very large for them. On the other hand, Charlie thinks he's a very big bird, so who knows? Got another one. Now, oh, the peanut fell out. And this is, um, I'm not sure what this is. It's brightly colored material here. 
with coin wrappers and peanuts stuck in the coin wrappers and we have little um, little wire on the end so I'm pretty sure it can be hooked up to something probably the top of the cage or a perch but this is definitely bird amusing now Lisa as it happens knows a great deal about birds so she is certainly the person to go to if you want bird toys oh okay here is a rather magnificent bird toy and this is paper and that means Hager is going to be able to pick the paper which by the way I think is probably a very clever bird toy for a bird that tends to pick their feathers you know usually if the bird is bored and, and nervous give them something else to pick and they might leave their feathers alone this is just a very clever little bird toy now Okay, Christmas present for the Photobomb Kitty. All right, let's see what Audie is getting. He's not around, so I can open his present for him. Oh, cat treats, he loves cat treats. When I was in the hospital in October, my neighbor took care of Audie for me, and she sprinkled cat treats on his food rather liberally, and he kind of got used to that. So, you know, now he's getting cat treats on his food because I had to do it to keep him quiet. And look at this. This is a, uh, a mouse. It's a loco laser mouse. Oh, that'll be fun. Just something he can kill. Oh, Adi's going to be beside himself with delight. It's got feathers, just like a bird. Oh, as if he is not going after birds enough. Now, I know what these are. These are Christmas spiders. And they're a little Christmas little spider in a jar. Look at that, they're beautiful, aren't they? Here, this is a blue and black. Um, Lisa makes these and sells them in her shop and I guess they are traditional Christmas ornaments. By the way, she included a story about the Christmas spider, and I will include it in the video notes for those of you who are interested in Christmas spider stories. So let's see, oh, look at these. These are just, these are lovely. And I am sending plenty of these off to Jocelyn's house. Um, I took the hook off it. Because I think her kids are going to get a real, real big kick out of that. So, yes, spiders. Ooh. Look at this. This is a beautiful little box. Look at that. And that, boy, that is Lisa's handiwork all over. This is absolutely delightful. And I think what we are going to have to do with this little box is see if we can't come up with another interesting little piece of jewelry, pop it in the box, and do a giveaway with this. Isn't that beautiful? That would make a lovely giveaway. So, let's see. All right. We have rubber bands. Notice no tape. I like that. That is very clever. I'm going to have to think about doing that the next time I pack something up. Oh! Is that gorgeous or what? This is an absolutely beautiful little piece of lusterware that's... Oh... And you know what's going to happen with that, don't you? Tidbit tray. Oh, oh my. And look at his friend. Is that incredible or what? That's just gorgeous. That's, that's amazing. This, by the way, is what the little Conyers look like. These 
just Jocelyn's beautiful little birds. Um, but they're a little bigger than that. So we have tidbit tray supplies, don't we? Let's take a peek. Ooh, just as I was thinking about the little boxes, look at this. This is just steampunkalicious. This is our steamy spider in here. Yeah, that might not be a giveaway, you know. Look at that. Isn't that delightful? bladed knife. Hmm, is that gorgeous or what? Well, all right. We were talking about some giveaway pieces. I think starting the new year, somebody is going to really love this. Definitely, we've got a lovely giveaway piece. We also have um, two sets of flatware, and I'm going to photograph them for you because I don't want you to just have, you know, this. In other words, I want you to see really good pictures and not just whatever the camera can pick up. I'm going to show you these. We are going to start off the new year making somebody's life a lot easier with giveaways. Um, flatware for people who have difficulty holding uh, their knives, forks, and spoons. So, if you have um, any sort of condition, arthritis, rheumatoid arthritis, Parkinson's, whatever, just keep that in mind. We'll be announcing that giveaway. I'm going to show you pictures. And in the meantime, like I said, I'm going to do my best to make this a very short video. So here are all of the Lisa goodies. Well, my household is quite thrilled. And thank you, Lisa. We've got some beautiful giveaways coming up, as you can see. So happy holidays, whatever you celebrate or do not celebrate. Enjoy. I will see you all next week. Stay tuned for the pictures of everything that Lisa, I'm going to photograph it all so you can see everything that Lisa made. And as I say, some of these are definitely going to turn into giveaways. Not Jocelyn's bird toys, of course. Those are going to be given, giving away to Jocelyn's birds. Have a great holiday, and I will see you all next week. Stay tuned tuned for the pictures. That's how we're concluding. And I'll put some music on so we have a nice lively little outro. All right. Take care.